fuck is here? And then uh, the robber goes, bring him out front, bring him out front. And then they look, he looks over and goes, man, they ain't nothing, man. They go to school with my sister. And then Mike has a lapse in judgment uh, and just goes, Stacy, Stacy, don't say my name. <laughs> don't say my name like you idiot. <laughs> and then um, they're just like, uh, and then he actually literally talks about him. He's just like, that, that guy is fucking cool, man. I beat his ass the other day. He took it like a G. Like, it's like, uh, you, you, guys, you guys are probably going to that school dance, right? Man, I love those school dances. Get the fuck down! No, 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 he's like, what you want? You want something? Yeah. Oh, I wanted a and soda. Okay, like, get you a soda. But that's my problem. He starts walking over to get the soda. He had one in his hand a minute ago. Well, he was shaking it up. You want a fresh one. Yeah, but why would you... No, that makes no sense. But to be fair, they also did still steal, because they were like, no, we don't want anything. They had Tic Tacs in their hands. Yeah. So, they're just lying. So, he's like, come on, we'll like, give I'll you give a you a ride, ride to school. And ride to the dance. He's like, "No, we're cool." He's like, "Nah, man, come on, I'll give you a ride." And it's like, "Okay." So they go. He's like, "Come on, man, let's, let's go, go. Let's go. Let's all be accessories to robbery." Yeah. So they do. They get in the car, and then he's smoking weed. And this is again one of my favorite scenes too, because he just he literally like he asks his buddy like, "Hey, did you get the did you get the zigzags?" And he goes, "Oh man, I forgot." He goes, "You fucking kidding me? That's the whole reason we went in there." <laughs> so they only robbed the place because they needed zigzags, which is the best. But then. He is trying to pass the weed over, and he complains that the kids don't want any. And then, again, no, no, he's accent. happy about it because he's like, no, at more first, for me. well, no, at first he's like, fucking kids don't do anything. Fuck no. it, more for me. And then that's when his buddy says, pass it over. He goes, no, you don't get no dr- zigzags. You don't get no drink drags. It's like, man, I should be a rapper. It's like, nobody's <laughs> right. oh, wow, I love about, about smoking weed. weed. And he goes, and then I love how his buddy goes, no one will buy a record about smoking weed. <clears throat> yes, they will. Because I like how he calls it... When did the chronic come out? Yeah, exactly. It's like about four years later. Because he's just like, I'll call it the weed album. And I'm in the back of my head going, why don't you just call it the chronic? Yeah. And like, I think it's been done. Um, And that's why, again, I'm like precursor to Ice Cube, anyone. Yeah. Just saying. Um, So they get pulled over by the police. Yeah. As one... As they are tend to do. In California. Mm Mm-hmm. So then it's all all calm at first. And then the cops tell him to get out. And then he gets serious. Then it turns into fucking yeah. boys in the hood all of a sudden. Yeah, because they're like, they're, you know, they're held up and they got their hands behind their heads and everything like that. And I do enjoy that, A, well, first when they're getting pulled over, Roe is fucking down in Tic Tacs like they're going out of style. And then fucking Stacy's buddy starts crying. Mm-hmm. Just flat out crying. He's like, stop being a little bitch, man. He's like, we're going to jail. And then, so they're searching the car and there's a gun obviously mm-hmm. and then mike sees that they're about to see it and then he starts coughing and then the cops like what's going on he's like oh nothing sir just my allergies oh, okay and then the radio tells him to go to the store that they just robbed and leaves them alone they get um, saved by the robbery that they caused mm-hmm. well they didn't as yeah. stacy and his buddy did i do but, also um... enjoy that the fucking the cop who was frisking stacy puts the hand in his hair and then he pulls it out, just like, oh, Jesus Christ, and starts wiping it off on him, because his hair's greasy Yeah, because like, you, the greasy one. Yeah, like, get that taillight fixed. Yeah. And then, basically, Stacy won't let his buddy nah. sit in the front seat anymore. He's like, no, you, you get in the front seat, you sit in the back, you little bitch. Yeah. And then... Even when they drop them off, he's like, yeah. no, he's you like, stay, no, you in, stay the in the back. No, you stay in the back. Well, because he's like, this kid has more heart than you, because you're a fucking bitch. Plus, he saved me yeah. from going like, to jail. Yeah. So then he says, then he tells Mike to like hang out for a minute. And he's like, don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to you. And he's like, of course, nervous as shit. And he's like, so you like my sister, huh? No, not, no. Like, Come on, man. I told you I'm not going to do anything. He's like, yeah, I do. He's like, all right. Well, then he tells her, he tells him specifically there's a certain song. When weird. it comes on, dance with her. It's weird because he's kind of like, <laughs> I know she's hot. Like, no, it, it, it's yeah, weird. He does say like, yeah. She, I mean, to be fair, though, you can objectively tell I that guess. kind of thing, I guess. I mean, he, he got a, not in, gone into detail, but he got really. Yeah. A, I mean, Stacy's fucking weird. A like, little into it. it. That's what I'm yeah. But he's like, yeah. He's also a, high as fuck at this that point. That is true. So he's like, there's going to be a Luther Vandross song. When that one goes mm-hmm. on, you go get you a dance, okay? Mm-hmm. You have he's my like, permission. Yes. In which, fact, I insist. Which, to be fair, that's a good thing to have with this motherfucker. Yeah. Just saying. Because I'm like, yeah, I want his blessing. Yes, you want his blessing. You know, you the want guy who smokes weed and has a yeah. gun and... Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Is yeah. a fucking gang member. Yes. So, big dance. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, uh, Ro immediately starts dancing with some girl. 
And then his, Slim says, hey, let's hang back for a minute, which lasted for about a half a second because he's like, oh, there's two girls. Let's go dance with them. And then, of course, Mike busts out his mock Michael Jackson moves and stuff, which is weird because I'm looking at it going, he's doing fine without adding all of his bullshit flourishes. Why not just keep doing what you were doing? You were fine. And then, of course, the, the girl he's dancing with just sort of goes, I'm going to stop and then taps him on the head. Yeah. I'm done now. Took one of my moves. Yeah. That one at the end with the Oh, the, <laughs> the, the Michael Jackson thrusting? <laughs> I'm like, I've been known to do that. This is why you don't dance. Now I get it. Um, <laughs> now we have visual proof. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm a good dancer, but I like the stupid dance. <laughs> he was doing this in earnest. Yeah, and that's he why thought he this got... was a legit dance move. Yeah, and I'm like, um, oh, no, no. Like, no. no, sir. Again, he was doing fine until he started adding his bullshit. He was fine. Like, the little fucking the knee moves. like the, That's 80s dancing from what I remember. So he basically hangs out on the wall. As the losers do. But I know then, because I was one at one point. The Luther Vandra song kicks on. And he goes, oh my god. And then he sees Alicia Ed. She's like serendipitously not dancing with anyone. Which if she is... Not as, happening. Yes. If she is of what they describe in the mm-hmm. beginning of the film. Yep. She would be surrounded by yes. boys Everywhere. trying to get a dance. Mm-hmm. So you're going to tell me that from across the room she, he sees her dancing with no one. Yeah, no, that's All not All right, happening. fair enough. Shut up. It's a movie. Yeah. He goes across, asks for a dance, he gets it, mm-hmm. and they click. Yeah. Although, he has to do the teenage boy dance. Mm-hmm. Um, if you've ever heard the song Too Close by Next, if we're going to go in the 90s of this, you know what this means. Basically, he's, he should have been thinking about baseball. Um, so he pushes his midsection out like, oh, this is how we do it in North Carolina. And she goes, well, this is how we do it in Inglewood. Pulls him forward and then, like, goes, oh. And, like, looks at him. And then she goes, walk me outside. I'm like, oh, what, is she going to chop his dick off? Like, this ain't cool. <laughs> and then she's just, like, really nice to him. Oh, and just having the conversation. A number. Yeah. And she goes, and he's, he asks her out. And she's like, are you asking me on a date? He's like, I guess. She goes, answer me. He goes, yeah, I am. Okay, and then... Literally, she writes the hand out, and then this is the, the Stacy fucking looking out through the car window with this fucking shit-eating grin on it, like, yeah, buddy, get some. And I'm yeah. like, all right, that was the See? creepy one. That one was creepier than the other one. He's like, yeah, get my sister. Yeah, it's like, literally Ew. like, yeah, get that shit, son. I'm like, wait, what? Um, <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah. This film is turning into a way different <laughs> animal right now. Yeah. Um, where are we going? But they are like, man, I got six numbers. No, seven mm-hmm. numbers each. And then, but they're like, I got Alicia's number. Like, like, I well, only got you only got one. Yeah, I got the Alicia's. Like, well, that's better than ten of these ladies. Yep. And they, he gets some money. He's like, you're taking all my money, Mike. Yep. Big Mike mm-hmm. has uh, Big Mike. Has Stacey's now him. coined it. Yes. Big Mike from Inglewood. Mm-hmm. I was wondering, was Stacy at the wedding? You think? If he was alive, <laughs> I didn't want to say that, but yeah, you're probably right. I mean, when you run in the streets, mm-hmm. you know, it's kind of uh, ask Ice Cube and Boys in the Hood. Let's call it an occupational hazard. This is true. Uh, so Smash got back to the boys uh, as mm-hmm. men. Boys, two men, if you will. Um, <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's what Oof. this movie does. Oof. These are the jokes, people. Uh. Um, yeah, Rogue gets sick. Yeah, and I like at the beginning of the thing, like you like my new car. Slim's like, you like my new car. And yeah, then he just gets and he's, fucking he's, violently because they're Ill. just like he's just like, all right, I guess I'm gonna do this. I guess take me back to the wedding. And he's like, no, we'll get you there. You, you do what see, you want. He you goes, can see the look on his yeah. face. He's just like, and like, he's just he, sort of like he's sort of like, okay, I gotta like he's like pull over the car. He's like, I'm not pulling over shit. I'm gonna get you there, and you make your decision. And then Mike sees and goes, no man, pull over. He's like, fuck you, I'm not pull over. Blah. Try to get the window, doesn't work. Yeah, projectile vomits all over himself and everybody else in the yeah. car. So Slim, rightfully so, is pissed off. About his car, about his shoes, about his tux. The fact everything. that he's there. Yeah. Just, you know, he's not just at the not wedding. Happy. So he basically fights yeah. Ro at this point. He's like, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> he's, I'm going to body slam yeah. you, which is one of the best lines ever. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then they, they fight, they fight, they fight, and then... I gotta go back to Tanya's. Yeah. It's like, well, we gotta like go. A, knock, knock, knock. And she just opens the door and just look on her face what? like. What? You're back? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, like, we, need well, to, we need a place to clean up. And then she smells it. just like, oh, God. Okay. And then he's like, all right, I'm first in the shower. Uh-uh. You're going out back hey, with the hose. And he goes, what the fuck do you mean? And then Mike, being the only smart one, just goes, yes, fine. That's Well, fair. he's just like, we're not a bunch of dogs. He's like, mm, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> so then. Through the back. It's like, oh, come on. He's do it and they're like all right thank you and whatever and then you cut to them naked fucking constantly spraying each other with water which mm. i don't know is that 
Is that a thing? Is that no? Is that illegal? Can no, you, not if you it's are, covered. Are you not in nude in public? No, no. Well, not... they take the towel off a row and no, he no, is no. nude. No, no, no. She might have a oh. uh, fence. Oh, well, as long as you can't be seen by I the guess. public, you're not in public. Fair enough. I don't know. But yeah. she's laughing her fool hat off mm-hmm. at the fact that they're all spraying each other. And then hides the clothes, which yeah. is genius, because that's what you do in that situation. She did, absolutely did the right thing. Gives him some some of her boyfriend's clothes, and mm-hmm. it's just as, 90, as late 90s. <laughs> like, hey, look, we get. look like Urkel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they get to the... Uh, Hand up the mm. tuxes and stuff in a garbage bag yeah, at the they dry go to cleaners. the dry They're cleaner. like, yeah, no problem, sir. Gonna do it. Like, oh, gee. okay. There's a church down <laughs> the street. Um, you're gonna need to pray. And he's like, that's exactly what we need. We need a miracle. So please make this. And she goes, okay, one hour. Yeah, and it did. It yeah, worked. It worked. They did get their suits. Um, and then they they ended up at a pizza place. Yeah. And this is where we get the heartfelt of like, what are you gonna do, dumbass? Like, why are we here? And you know, the whole thing of, like, the old, he's... They, like, mention Alicia. Like, what happened to you and Alicia? Well, yeah. she's in New York. I'm here. Well, and he's like, well, you did get into NYU. Why didn't you go there? Because you wanted to stay here. And this is where we get the reason that... The reason he doesn't want to... Not that he doesn't want to get married. It's that he has decided that she's got a better job. So he's going to move out of the wood. And they're all like, what the fuck? You don't leave this place. That's not what you do. Because, again... Mike didn't follow Alicia to NYU because of you don't leave the wood. That's what it is. He's all nervous about leaving Which is his so home. weird. Because, I don't get it. Well, it's, it's, like, I get it in the yeah. sense that, like, if you were born there, yeah. like Rowan Slim. So mm-hmm. I get their mentality of, like, we well, sure. just don't leave the wood, man. Mm-hmm. You stay in the wood forever. Yeah. Because I'm sure that there's neighborhoods like that mm-hmm. everywhere in mm-hmm. the States and Canada mm-hmm. and everywhere. There's just, you don't yeah. leave your You don't leave, you don't your, leave home. your home. That's where you go, yeah. He's not from Inglewood. Now, he grew up in Inglewood and has spent his formative years there. Who, Mike? Mike. Well, Mike is, and he does so say So I don't know end. why he was scared to leave to he go to New York. He says it in the end because he never had a stable home until he got it be, here. It became Inglewood. It became his home, so he doesn't want to leave because he's afraid that if he goes somewhere else, it's not going to feel like home anymore because yeah. he's never really had one until now. That's the thought process. I guess. So <clears throat> this is where we, they cut to the bet. Now, they're in high school at this point. This is a thing that the 90s really tried to tell us was a thing. Mm -hmm. That never happened. This is not the only film to to cover this uh, subject. And we'll get to that movie at some point. But this has never happened as far as I can only speak to my own experiences. My friends and I never did anything like this. Where we were sitting around going, my God, we all need to get laid like so badly. Like we need to, like my friends and I talked about it like it would be awesome. But that was where it ended. We weren't just like, all right, we need to come up with a plan to get laid or whatever. And, of course, these fools who constantly bet make a bet about, you know, will whoever gets laid first. We put in five bucks, and then whoever gets laid first gets the money. But if we don't, if nothing happens in a month, you put another five bucks in and so on and so forth, and they agree to it. <laughs> Smash cut to them. Yeah. Just piling, piling money up the money because bar. that's how that works. Um, and, of course, you know. Uh, Mike and Alicia lasted three weeks because it's, you know, junior high. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're friends now, and he's dating someone else, she's dating someone else, and, you know. Well, the montage that they show mm. were Slim and Rogue in Nowhere. Yeah. And Mike is finger banging his girlfriend. Yeah. And he wants and to do more, and she's like, I'm not doing any more. You're not putting that into me. That, that has happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not going <sighs> to tell my story, but things like that have happened. Although, I can honestly tell you, I've never looked as bored as he looked. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, that's not how that works. I'm fascinated with that whole scenario. I've got to <laughs> tell you, there's no part of me that's like, wow, this is boring. No, that didn't happen. Um, but also, like I said, no one made bets about who was going to get laid first. No one, I don't even remember if I even told my friends when I did. Right. You know, it's just, it wasn't. That important. So he's over at Alicia's. Mm-hmm. They're talking, chit-chatting about his girlfriend, her boyfriend, mm-hmm. the big dance that's coming up, homecoming, I guess. Mm-hmm. And one thing leads to another, and they start, well, you know. Yeah, because because Alicia's like his tutor, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> or they just study together. They end up back at her place because she's like, do you want to you wanna look at the my dress? And he's like, sure. And he's like, I'm in her room. This is amazing. And I'm like, you're not dating. But he just wants to get laid. Which is weird because this is the conversation they've been having. Right. That all he wants is to get laid, doesn't care who it is, doesn't care why. To be fair, though, they do have a conversation where he says, like, girls want it just as much as guys and they don't admit it. And she sort of stops talking and he's like, aha. 
So I think that's the the point of this. But anyway, they end up in the in the bed, and then they yeah they end up the song comes on.